Welcome back, lovely humans. Um, I hope you had a wonderful Valentine's Day weekend. I hope you had some respite and some time for yourself and for your loved ones. Um, and I hope you enjoy this video. My name is Candy B, and I'm here to talk about some books and some other things a little later on. You're going to see that <laughs> I spent some time talking about how I procrastinated for a little while. Um, so I'll have that at the end of the video. It'll just kind of be um, an unboxing. So currently I have been reading um, Barack Obama's book called Dreams of My Father, a story about race and inheritance. And I started that not too long ago. Um, I really want to finish it up this month for February. I spend some time with it and reflect with it because it's been really interesting so far. It's just a story about him during his childhood and adolescence as he grew up and discovered new things about his family and old things about his family and just experienced a certain level uh, of reflection for himself. So I'm kind of excited to see where it goes. I'm only about halfway through so I will update as soon as I finish that. And then the other book I've been actually reading is called Maybe You Should Talk to Someone. So Maybe You Should Talk to Someone was written by Lori Gottlieb, I'm assuming is how you pronounce her last name. Um, and she's a therapist and she's going over different things about being a therapist, um, which is really interesting because it is from her perspective versus like a client's perspective, but it's also her as a client so she does give a little bit of both worlds so I'm really excited to read further into how she explains this experience and what she discovers and the self-reflection and growth that she experiences through this. It's been really well done with explaining different concepts and ideas that go into counseling and the psychology background of it, the medical background of it, uh, in in such a way that any person can pick up this book and understand it a little bit. Um, and she also really does a good job of adding in humor and talking about the clients that she's had and the different dilemmas that they were going through. I've made it up to chapter 30 so far and it happens to have four parts and it ends with um, chapter 58. So I'm really excited to continue this book and I hope that I have a really good review at the end of it because I do look forward to seeing what happens with the writer and her journey. Other than that, I do have a few plans for a few books that I want to read. Some of those books are actually going to be related to looking at one of these wonderful things that I just got. One of the first booktubers that I found was Bowties and Books and they have a wonderful channel that I think everyone should check out. They ended up putting together some cards that are TBR cards and these TBR cards are beautifully done. Here's some of the artwork. We've got different prompts and these different prompts um, add some versatility to your reading so that you can have some diversity, you can look at different populations that you never thought you'd read before, and it really points out the importance of inclusiveness, world building that you can expand in your life. And I think that these are a wonderful idea. Um, I'm very excited to take advantage of this and expand my reading. So I think I'm going to start with this um, very soon after I complete some current reads. I also have a few other books that I'm looking at just at random. Like I tend to go on the Libby app and I find things. Um, I really like the Saga graphic novel series so I might finish uh, number six coming up here soon because I've read one through five. And honestly I would suggest if you're someone who is just now starting to read again, I highly recommend you pick up a children's book. It refreshes your mind. There's usually beautiful, beautiful pictures. Um, picture books are so well done and the art nowadays 
is it just blows me away so I think that anyone looking to try to read again or expand on your reading or you need a refresher in the middle of um, this pandemic just grab a picture book or grab a short children's book that allows you to experience that so I don't have a copy of this book but I have read it multiple times it actually was the book that got me back into reading and I happen to love this author and that book is Fortunately the Milk. Fortunately the Milk was written by Neil Gaiman and the artwork, artwork was done by Scotty Young. So I do recommend that book. It is colorful, it is fun, it's essentially one giant dad joke of a book. I think it's a wonderful starting point as it was for me and I really loved reading it. It um, It's great to start with from a place of happiness and laughter and joy. So I, I think that that helped spark my reading again because interestingly enough, prior to reading in the last year to year and a half, I didn't really read at all. I read maybe, I would say one to ten books maybe. Um, from 2012 to 2019 um so i i took a break from reading i read a lot in high school but in undergrad i was just doing a lot so i ended up not taking advantage of my spare time with reading and i wish i had so i'm glad that i'm doing it now and i'm glad i get to share these experiences with y'all so at this point, uh, the next part of the video is going to be an unboxing, and it's going to be my first unboxing, so I'm excited to share that with you. Uh, I did it outside in the middle of a blizzard. If you want to tune into that, keep watching. Otherwise, um, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for coming to my beehive, and I look forward to sharing some more content later. Okay, so I tend to film when this is happening and I just like the outside so so today I wanted to do an unboxing because for the last 12 to 18 months I have ordered books and they've just kind of piled up because I've been holding out to do an unboxing and I don't remember what I've ordered some of them have been open but I haven't looked in them since and I ended up moving so <laughs> I don't know what's in them so I'm very excited to see what I've purchased in the past and I'm and I'm excited to see what I get to talk about in the future um, with y'all there's a little bit of snow so um, <laughs> a little um, I'm gonna continue though and hopefully I'll get this done swiftly so that way I can get inside and they won't get wet and take care of your books you know okay so first I'll start with this one which is from Waterstone um, which is in England and they had copies and sales for the books that I was wanting at the time. I do remember that much. So we'll see. I know that I ended up ordering this after um, watch a Books and Lala video and a few others. So let's see what I've got here. So I've got three books in here. Oh, okay. So I've one of my first booktubers that I started watching was um, Paperback Dreams and she likes Radio Silence by Alice Oseman so I started to just order Alice Oseman books so I'm pretty sure we're gonna run into something I'm gonna be very excited about very shortly so Solitaire Alice Oseman very excited to start this one <laughs> Radio Silence by Alice Oseman let's see oh Little Women um, I'm actually really excited to get at this because I tend to be one of those people that doesn't watch movies or television shows without reading the book first. Sometimes I do because I've heard that it's usually the equivalent or better. I'm excited to do this because I do want to delve in and then kind of maybe do a future vlog or review of the movies and see which movie I liked the most. I've heard the 90s version is great. I've also heard that the new one is fantastic because I'm a big uh, Florence Pugh fan so I'm excited about that. Okay next I've got oh okay so I am a huge fan 
of Avatar The Last Airbender, Legend of Korra, like I love that entire universe. I've been watching it since I was a kid and it's probably in my top three but also low-key probably my favorite show of all time because the writing is great. But I love Zuko and I love Dante Bosco, Rufio. And I bought both versions so my partner and I can read them at the same time. I'm excited about that as well. And it's not too thick, so I think this should be a good like weekend read. Oh, okay. As aforementioned, part stopper. Alice Oseman. So this is the one I was talking about that, that I was suspecting I had a copy of. I know a few other booktubers that I watched had read this book and they really liked it, so I'm excited. So I've got... Heartstopper 2 and 3. So at least I have the three and I can just finish them all in one go if I want to or take it at a slower pace. We'll see. But I'm happy I have all three that way I can delve myself into that universe. And I have heard that it's been confirmed that there's going to be a television show. So that'll be really exciting. It looks like I'm down to my last purchase. This is exciting because I'm cold now. There's like no tab to pull this, so let me see. Okay, let's go that way. It has like a perforated section, so we'll, we'll just go with that. I actually was trying to rent it from the library and I heard on multiple channels that in terms of um, the cover art, I've heard that it's very, very beautiful in person, and I'm glad that I ended up buying it. I believe it's pronounced Elatso, so I'm going to go ahead and dig into this soon, I hope. I'll just update as soon as I can on whatever else I read. I tend to rent from the library and I also on, on the Libby app. The Libby app is really great. You can hook it up with your local library and then you can rent audiobooks and you can rent like the digital ebook version. So it's really great if you want to expand your reading and it's just at your fingertips and it can go to your laptop. Many of your local libraries have these copies of books where you can have the hard version. So support local libraries that's my plug um, other than that happy winter and i'll see y'all later bye